Hey everybody and welcome back to another episode. So, in this episode I have a letter to go read and a mission to do with Hosea. I keep calling him Hosea, but it's Hosea. Uh, right, where is it? It's right here? No, it's not. It's right here. There we go. Dear Arthur, I've written this letter a hundred times or more, and I cannot get it right. It's me. You know it's me from the bad handwriting. I know I said when we last spoke, and I was going off to get married, that we would not speak again. I know I said a lot of things, and I meant them, I suppose, at the time. But I'm not so proud as to not speak to people who care for me, or cared for me. I've been in Valentine for a couple of months. I had some bad luck, and, well, it's a long story, and not an interesting one. But I am here for now. I saw a couple of the girls, or whatever the polite term is for them, that ran with you and your associates in town. And I heard tell of a man who sounded like you. I would love to see you again, if you could spare me a little bit of your time. I'm renting a room at Chadwick Farm, just north of Valentine. Yours, Mary Linton. Huh. Okay. Now, throughout that entire letter, I just had one thing to think about, and that was the fact that, uh, let's see if I can get that. That picture looks terrifying. Absolutely goddamn terrifying. Alright, let's go see Hosea. Want to go hunting? What are you, hunting? An elephant? I wish. No. I saw a huge bear. One of the biggest I ever saw. I reckon nearly a thousand pounds. My God. But you need me to come with you. Of course. Let's go. Where are we heading exactly? Up near the Dakota River. Might take a day or two. I could do with a break from this place. Oh, me too. It's been a rough couple of weeks. You need anything? I don't think so. I got all I need. Let's go then. So you, so you still ain't replaced Bodicea? Nah, I miss her. She was quite a horse. This one's okay. Ain't no Bodicea. I've been meaning to upload this big shire horse for a while now. Unruly bastard. Where'd you get him? Some big loudmouth bastard tried to rob me. It was out riding, so I... Well, you know how it is. I see. Let's take him to Valentine. It's on the way. Sort of. There's a decent dealer there. We'll unload him. You can buy yourself a new horse. Put your saddle on and let's get going. Okay. Uh, right? There's nothing wrong with two horses. And the stables always have the best ones. Oh, I guess you're right. This is going to be fun, Arthur. You won't throw me? No, he's an angel. If I'm near him. Nasty little look in his eyes. Oh, don't be rude about this magnificent creature. Easy, big fella. It beats the other horses, because I'm sure the... I'm sure he's got, like... It's not all of us a Shire horse. Nothing. I don't know. He might always have a Shire horse, I guess. When you start this mission. Arthur and Martha, or Bill and Phil. 
Yeah, maybe you're right. Just feel a bit like our luck died with them, too. Nonsense. We'll be all right. Just need some money to get back on our feet. I hope so. You found a way to offload those Cornwall bonds yet? Not yet. They're still very high. Need to be done right. I have a couple of leads I'm looking into. Don't let that big bastard get the better of you there, Arthur. Hey, he's all right. All right, boy. You're all right, boy. What the hell? Stables are just up ahead. Yo, Iron Grey, Ron Arden's horse. Go sell that big fruit. Is that like a pre-order thing? A pre-order bonus? I'm going off to the general store. Because I quite like the Shire horse, I'll be honest. Meet you back here in a bit. Hey, how can I help you? I'm in the market for a new horse. Something strong and fast. Yeah, well, you're in the right place. I got some beauties in at the moment. Yeah. yeah. What about this one here? Yeah, you looking to sell? I show you. You got papers? No, no papers. Well, of course that's going to affect what I can pay. But your luck's in. I got a fella who's been looking for a decent workhorse like this for a while. He'll pay a good price. Otherwise, I can always stable him here for you. Yeah, take a look. All right, I'm going to stable the Shire Horse, Morgan, uh, Ardennes, what's this, what the, what the, what's going on? I don't know, um, there you go. My horse is now in invisible for some reason. All right, partner, you got, you got yourself, yourself a deal, deal. And, and a fine, fine new horse. horse. I hope so. Well, I don't, I don't sell, sell anything, anything other, other than good, good animals. animals. You have my word on that. Right, let's see. Here are your papers, and on me, a new grooming brush. And some treats. <laughs> Appreciate it. Yeah. All right, you. You treat this fella well. I know he's gonna look after you just fine. Looks like a nice animal you got there. Ah, what's going on? Guess we'll see. Easy. All right, let's get going. We got quite a ride ahead of us. Lead the way. Nah, it's not a bad looking horse. It's called O'Cray's Run. Up in the mountains east of Cumberland Falls. I just hope I can remember how to get there. Back into the mountains? I sure didn't figure on that. But this time, we're doing the chasing. Whoa! So how are things with you and John? Fine. Ain't it about... Time you let it go now? It was a year, I'll say. He ditched us for a goddamn year. I've spoken to him many times. He knows he did wrong. He just wants to put it behind him. I'm sure he does. Running off on that kid is one thing, but there's a code. He knows that. He ain't Trelawney. Dutch and you pretty much raised him. I know. But it's done. Has been for a while now. Nobody else would have been welcomed back that easy after that long. And you know it. Maybe. But please don't you put that to the test. Uh, I never would. Okay, 
Okay, I think we need to head right up here. Yes, I remember this place. Moonstone Pond. We're going the right way. celebrating a month from now. So how bad was it? Blackwater, I mean. Yeah, pretty bad. Swarming with Pinkertons. No way we're getting back in there anytime soon. Well, let's just hope they don't find that money. Look there. Rabbits. Maybe we should catch one to cook. Sure. Yeah, I'm tired of uh, all my calls being out. So let's eat, shall we? Just ruin the meat. The best thing's a bow or a twenty two caliber varmint rifle. Uh, okay, I need something for dead eye. Yes, an obliterator. Faded them with a shotgun, if I remember right. All right, let's do this. Hunt a rabbit. Yeah. All right, that's this wrong on so many levels. I don't want to see that. Uh. Poor bastard. We should camp here. Sure. God, ripping off that like pelt. That's a, that's a scene worthy of fucking watership down. Um all right, let's set up camp then. Oh, I'm famished. Cook that rabbit then. They're delicious on an open fire like this. Fine by me. Go on, then. Uh, plain game. And you were the one who was like, famished! I'm famished! Cook the food! I'm famished! Okay, cook. And cook again. Uh, I'll stow that. Just how many of these do I have? Quite a few, it seems. 
Okay, so that, do I have another one? No, I don't. Shocker. And sleep. Uh, yeah, until morning. He better be worth all this drama. What's your plan? Well, we'll see if we can track him, but we might need to lay bait to draw him out. Bears like fish, obviously, but they also have a sweet tooth. A lot of fellas bait then and shoot from the trees, but I prefer to hunt on the ground. More dangerous, but we'll have a much better chance of getting a good shot. And if he bolts, we can start right off after him. Can you mix up this bait for me while I finish packing this up? Fish? Bears. Tie it up in that rag when you're done. I hope you know what you're talking about. I grew up in the mountains, Arthur. I was virtually weaned on bear meat. Okay, I think I got this done. Good. Pack up and we'll get going. Uh, yeah, let's go. Leave. Try our luck down by the water. That's where I saw him last. Okay. How's that horse treating you? So far, so good. You know, I was in this area with Bessie years ago. Really? I didn't know that. I imagine you still miss her. Every day. Did you two ever think about getting out of the light? Uh, we did briefly. You don't remember? Guess you were still young. Didn't last long. I drifted back into it. She understood. She knew what I was. I remember you not being around for a while, but well, things were looser back then. Truth is, there's never really any getting out. And staying in, it's hard. You know that. But Bessie and I made it work. Why? You thinking about getting out? Me? No, of course not. Listen. If Dutch's grand plans work, and we can make enough money to go someplace new, really new, maybe we can all have a new start. Anyway, for now, let's try and chase ourselves a bear, shall we? Let's look by the water here, see if he's been fishing again recently. Look for tracks. Dung, bones, any sign of it. Ah. Weird particle effects for a western game, but whatever. Uh, but then again, what, what, what's a normal particle effect for a western game? I see that's much easier to follow. Uh like, you know that that uh that trail I say as I lose it. <coughs> Cuz it's white on like a green green and gray sort of backyard like ground but But in the like when when in the beginning of the game it was just like white on snow so it was like yeah that not happening. Must have been left by our friend, I reckon. Come on, see if there's anything else. Someone else on the ground, just 
there. There she is here. Watch your step. Looks real fresh. Reckon he's gotta be close. Let's keep going. Looks real fresh. We lost him? For now. A little optimism, Arthur. Well, what do you think? I think we split up and each look. Either that or we could place bait here. That could work? Which do you think? Uh, use bait. Let's bait here. Fine by me. Let's leave the bag over there. Yeah, splitting up never sounds good. Near the large stones. Okay. Use. Big scar, scar down, down his face. face. Hey, hey, did that, that bait, bait look, look okay, okay to you? I think so. You're the expert. Ready with your gun there? I'm good. You okay? You see nerve. So do you. I'm fine. Let's just take a look at that bait. Sure. Oh no. Oh no 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 no. Come on. <coughs> you only just said it, Jose. I know, but we need to do this right. Okay, this, yeah, this is even like the first play time I played this, I was like, no, this is all types of wrong. Don't do this. Got your knife? Shit. That that looks like a zombie bear. Yep, all good. You're fine, old man. Of course, of course I'm fine. fine. It's nothing. No. Nothing at all. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. I think. <laughs> that was fun. <sighs> you know what, Arthur Morgan? I'm a little old and beaten up to be after the biggest game. You can have this. What is it? It's a map. A man in a bar. Gave it to me. Well, I stole it from him, but that's another story. <laughs> he said it, it told him where to find some real big animals. Thank you. It's a pleasure. You saved my life, Arthur. <laughs> I think I'm going back to camp to lick my wounds. <laughs> you coming or you gonna track that monster? Uh, I'll go back to camp. I'm coming with you. Let's get going then. He's like, yeah, you coming? You coming? You coming in that? <coughs> God, Jose is so pushy. Okay, well that's that. Uh, may as well I can squeeze in another mission I think for this episode. <coughs> uh, yeah, so let's go and see Mary Linton. I can also go and pop by the gun shop and grab a revolver. Wow, 
Wow, this horse is pretty fast. Oh god. I don't want to kill sheep. I try to avoid killing most animals in this game. Not very um, survivalist frontiersman of me, but... Alright, I'm not going to stop for that. That sounded weird. That sounded worrisome. I don't think you should be alone out here, old boy. Okay, drop by the gun shop, then go see Mary. That's the plan. That's my plan. I shouldn't be able to fuck this one up. Martha's beard's growing back. Greetings. That's something. So, what are you aiming for today? Uh, bros catalog. Revolvers. Uh, double action. Uh, Schofield. If only I could buy two of them, but I got enough for one. He still can't get. You can get the. That's what I don't understand. They can get the Evans repeater, but I can't get. Uh, the Lamat revolver. It must be like a an, an area thing. Like I have to be in sand and need to get it. To me that need so many All right. Cornwall, kerosene, and must be something else going on there. That should be good. All right, back to the horse. Thanks for your Okay, yeah, that's fine. I'll customize the guns later when I get some more money. Alright, let's go see Mary. Yes? Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to disturb you, ma'am. Is, um, is Mrs. Linton in? I'll go see. Mrs. Linton? A caller for you. Hello, Arthur. Mary? I heard you and your friends was around. I... Where's what's his name? Died. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, me too. Happened a while ago. Pneumonia. Bad business. Sure. So, uh, well, you, you've been... <coughs> you've been made a widow and you come here looking for me, is that it? No, ain't like that, Arthur. Uh, okay. I... Uh, my family... I need your help. You mean the family that always looked down on me? You want me to help? It's my little brother, Jamie. <laughs> I always liked Jamie. At least compared to the rest. He's broken Daddy's heart. Daddy has a heart? Don't make me beg you, Arthur. My money, my life, me. I wasn't good enough. I'm sorry. We need your help real bad. Little Jamie's joined the Chelonians, that strange religious order. 
Good for him. They're quite mad, Arthur. They'll kill him. You're the only person he'd listen to. So, I'm too rough to marry into your family, but it's okay to ask me to help in saving your family. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to help me, but... But I think of you often. Long time ago now. I'm begging you, Arthur. I say let Jamie live Jamie's life and not the nightmare that his daddy dreamed up for him. Jamie's so innocent, Arthur. Please, Arthur. Will you help me? Yeah, I'll help you. Where is he? Somewhere out near Carmody Dell, I think. The rancher there said he'd seen him around the Cumberland Forest area. I just want him back, Arthur. If you find him, bring him to me at the station. I'll see what I can do. I'll owe you. You already owe me. Yeah, I do like playing like, uh, like Arthur as a sort of reluctant good guy. Like, he'll do the right thing, he just won't be happy about it. That's the thing, I suppose he does the right thing when he can. Like, he does a lot of, you know, bad stuff because of the gang he's with. Like, very rarely is it a case, well, the way I play it, anyway, it's very rarely it's a case of, like, the bad stuff is his own doing. He does so because Dutch or something has a plan. Or, you know, otherwise he just goes... I keep hitting the, the trigger button by mistake. Uh, otherwise he'll just sort of try and uh, do some good stuff. Like, it, like, the way I do it is, like, bounty hunting or poker. He does in his downtime. And, uh, like, bank robberies and stuff is more of, like, a gang thing. That he does because he's you know with them and cares for them, etc. <coughs> like even though the game's quite linear, it is interesting that the main like, how you how you play sort of changes how you can see the main character. Not many games can do that; you can pull that off quite you know successfully. So you know again, kudos to them for uh, pulling that off. Alright, coming up on the Chileans, like a, a religious order, shall we? You sh really shouldn't be wandering around the frontier if you're blind. That's how wolves get you. Or bears, or bandits, or inbred idiots. I think there's a few inbred, like, crazy people in this game, I recall. Okay, coming up now. Uh, how far am I? Ah, that's good. Good. Not that far at all. I don't have any water on me, all I have is brandy. And I reckon he'd probably enjoy a drink of brandy, it wouldn't help him that much survive in the wild. Like, out in the frontier. Okay, let's go see this, uh... What did, what did Mary call them? Chileans? Chin... Chil... I can't... I don't have no idea. I cannot remember. Ah, Chilonians, that's a Chileans, what the hell? <laughs> shell of sh shell of safety. Shell of safety. Shell of safety. Got a 
speak to the boy? Arthur? Hello, son. Your sister is very worried. The boy has chosen a path, sir. The path to truth. Well, his sister just wants to speak with him. Arthur, I've chosen a path. The boy has chosen a path. He's chosen safety. What path have you chosen, sir? Uh. Okay, I'll take this calmly. Um, still searching, I guess. We are all searching. Chelonianism is about searching. What do we search for, do you think? Uh. Purpose. Why not? Safety? Safety and. Meaning? Jamie, Jamie knows, knows the, the truth. truth. But of but course, course, you may speak, speak with him. Exactly. If your teachings are so great, what harm can I do? I'm... I'm not... I'm not coming with you, Arthur! Just come and speak with Mary! Then make up your mind! Leave me alone, Arthur! I didn't ask for your help! I'm not doing this for you, kid. Just come back here. Stop. Let's talk about this. I mean, in fairness to the kid, he rides a horse really well. I mean, this is a special, like, day one pre-order horse, and I still can't catch up to him. Am I supposed to do something to catch him? A terrible fool, Arthur? I don't know. I don't know enough about it. But one thing I do know there ain't no shame in looking for a better world. I miss you, Arthur. Are you and Mary sweet on one another again? 
That's all a long time ago, son. Yeah. Oh, this wasn't how I thought today would turn out. It's been a long time, Jamie Gillis. You were a kid last time I saw you. Didn't try to kill yourself. You know, you taught me how to ride a horse. Too well, apparently. Shalonia, though? Really? You'd fall for that? They were very nice to me. They're decent. I'm sure. Please tell me you didn't give them any money. Of course I did. They rely on charitable donations. Jesus, Jamie, come on. I just wanted to believe that there might be something good coming my way one day. Guess that's dead in the water. With the turtles. Shut up. All Father kept telling me was, you won't amount to anything. You're not enough of a man. I had to get away. I couldn't take it anymore. Forgive me, but your father's a bully and a coward. Don't listen to Hey, don't talk about him like that. What do you want me to say, Jamie? He's a good father? Nice man? He won't be happy I saw you. Please send him my worst regards. The thing is, he's right. I'm not good at anything. Come on, that ain't true. Tell me something you like. Uh, well, uh... Don't think too hard. Apples, I guess. Apples? Yeah, I love apples. Okay. <laughs> I was thinking more along the lines of carpentry or horses or something. All right, go work in an orchard then. By that token, you must really like shooting and robbing people. I only like shooting young idiots who run away from me when I'm trying to help them. Father told me what you do. I'm sure he did. Hey, are you Oops. still with Dutch and what was his name? H Hester? Jose. Yep, still the same, sort of. And Annabelle and Bessie? I'm afraid they're dead. Shit. Maybe Mary did make the right choice. Here we are. She must be waiting inside. Well, that's a nice little thing to say, isn't it? Maybe my sister did make the right choice in not being with you. But then again, you know, probably she did. Yes, says the boy who was trying to get back on the horse. Make it quick or I might run off again. Will you shut up? Okay, there she is. sadness if it died in his bed but I'll come home for you my boy my sweet boy come on oh Arthur thank you thank you it's good to see you Mary and you Arthur and you You'll never change. I know that. man alive and I feel like a fool that woman confuses me and plays me for a fiddle like no one else alive I trust I will not make a god-awful fool of myself once more but somehow I imagine I shall
Alright, well that's pretty much it I think for this episode. Um, done more than I was expecting to. I thought the Hosea mission was going to take a while. I forget that you can like fast travel back to camp. Um, yeah, if you could leave a like and a comment for the episode, it would be greatly appreciated and would help oh so very much. <coughs> and uh, if you haven't done so already, do consider hitting that subscribe button and also that bell icon down below because it'll keep you up to date with all the stuff that I release more or less daily on my channel. For now though, that's all, so until the next episode, look after yourself, you take care and you carry on gaming. Ta-da!